27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Higher pressure camped out over the Ohio Valley will continue to make its way out towards New England. And over the next 24 hours, as that occurs, it will solidify our southerly wind flow here in southern Wisconsin and, well, in turn, help drive temperatures higher. Right now, winds not necessarily all that significant, uh, getting up to around five, maybe six miles per hour for some of us, even clocking in seven miles per hour in Monroe right now. But for the most part, we are looking at quiet, calm, and fairly comfortable conditions. Temperatures down from 79 earlier today to 68 degrees right now. There's your winds now from the southwest. Again, we, we're dealing with westerly and uh, west southwesterly winds throughout the day. And again, as that high pressure system continues to make its way out towards the eastern seaboard, we are looking at those winds shifting more southward. As of now, Dew Point Valley is remaining relatively stable, though we're looking at the upper 50s rather than those mid to low 50s that we were dealing with over the last couple of days. So we're also looking at the potential for more humidity in the forecast. Thankfully, uh, nothing necessarily significant, but nonetheless, again, there's your southerly winds, our fairly comfortable weather for now, giving way to even warmer weather down the road. It's 59 in Montello currently, 62 in Monroe, 57 out in Lone Rock. Over the next several hours, we'll see those temperatures gradually level out in the those mid 50s, likely uh, in the mid to low 50s by the time you're waking up early tomorrow morning and then quickly warming right back up. Here's where we stand over the next couple of hours. Scattered cloud cover settles back in. Nothing necessarily again significant. We're still looking at mainly clear skies throughout the overnight hours. Temperatures gradually dwindling to those mid to low 50s for many of us. 52 in Janesville, Watertown 54, Madison, much of the same story. Now the areas that do see more of that cloud cover tend to be a little bit warmer. Clouds tend to act like a bit of an insulation later during the overnight hours, keeping temperatures at the surface milder. 59 in Baraboo, 60 degrees out in Viroqua, 61 degrees in Prairie du Chien overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. So we wake up mainly clear skies, 55 degrees at 7 o'clock. By 8 o'clock, it's 59 degrees. We do see temperatures reach back up into the mid to upper 70s as early as our lunch hour. We had a high temperature today, 79. Tomorrow by noon, it's 77. Now afternoon high temperatures reaching closer to the low 80s across the region. Pay no attention to the rain chances. We will stay dry tomorrow. Mainly clear skies, however, are still expected. A few light clouds not out of the realm of possibility. 81 degrees on Tuesday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine for Tuesday evening. 78 at 5, right around 7 o'clock in the evening. We're at 73. Now, yes, we are still talking about Tropical Storm Francine, which has formed in the Gulf and likely will make landfall uh, in Louisiana right around around 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. From there, that system will push northward up the Mississippi Valley and eventually generate scattered rainfall across parts of the Midwest, possibly even here in southern Wisconsin. For the time being, however, we're keeping things primarily dry, though there are some models that show chances of scattered rainfall as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. So as of now, mainly dry for Saturday, but we could see rain chances return for that Bama game here at Camp what? Randall. What? Cam, Ooh. bad timing. Hey, you know what? Any edge. We can get over Alabama. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's, that is that's true. part of it. So yeah, the possible, not concrete right now. Okay. But if that wobbles just a little further off to the north, we could see chances of rainfall. Might need that poncho okay. on Saturday. Good to know. Thanks, yep. Cam.